we're given cot A is equal to minus 3 over 4 and cos B is equal to 5 over 13. And then we're told that A and B are both reflex angles. And from this, we're trying to show that tan A plus B is equal to 56 over 3. All right, so if cot A is equal to minus 3 over 4, then we can say that 1 over tan A, which is the same thing as cot, cot A is 1 over tan A, that's minus 3 over 4, and that means that tan A is equal to, so do the reciprocal of both sides of that fraction above, and this becomes minus 4 over 3. And then we're told cos B is 5 over 13. We're trying to show that tan A plus B is equal to 56 over 33. We can use the addition formula to turn this into tan A plus tan B all over 1 minus tan A tan B. That's useful because now we can sub in tan A and tan B into this. But we need to work out what tan B is first. We have tan A, we don't have tan B, but we do have cos B, which is equal to 5 over 13. So a quick way that you can work out what tan B is, is to consider a right angle triangle, where let's say this side here is angle B, or this angle here is angle B. We know that cos B is equal to 5 over 13. This is the adjacent over hypotenuse using Sokotoa. And then fitting that into our triangle, the adjacent is 5, the hypotenuse is 13. And then using Pythagoras with this triangle, we end up with this side being 12. Now tan B is equal to, using Sokotoa again, opposite over adjacent. The opposite is 12, the adjacent is 5. But when using this method, the triangle doesn't tell you whether tan B will be positive or negative. So it could be either one, we're not sure right now. To work that out, we have to consider the fact that B is a reflex angle. So that means that B is between 180 and 360. And if we consider a tan graph, it's a very rough sketch. Here is 90, here is 270. So this is what a tan graph looks like between 0 and 360. Between 180 and 360, we have these two parts of the graph here. So actually from that, if B is between 180 and 360, then tan B could be either positive or negative. But if we look at cos B, cos B is equal to positive 5 over 13. Now if we do, if we consider a cos graph, if cos B is positive, and we also know that we're considering again the interval of 180 to 360, which will be this interval here. If cos B is positive, then we must be in this part of the graph here between 270 and 360. So yes, B is between 180 and 360, but more specifically is between 270 and 360. And if it's between 270 and 360, for the tan graph, we must be looking at this part here in purple. That bit is negative, or tan of those angles is negative. So tan B is then minus 12 over 5. All right, so tan B is minus 12 over 5. Tan A from above is minus 4 over 3. Now we can put both of those two things into this. And then tan A plus tan B is tan A plus tan B all over 1 minus tan A tan B. Type this into the calculator and you end up with 56 over 33, which is our answer.